The topic I am discussing now is leadership in entrepreneurship management. Leadership, that is one of the essential functions that must be performed major by managers. The success of all managers largely depends on the capacity to lead their subordinates. It's not easier to master the art of leadership. Leadership has different meaning in different person. In terms of managing, leadership is art of leading towards a goal. Leadership is a process influencing others to work enthusiastically to achieve predetermined goals. Determination what needs to be done in a situation and getting people to do it. It is a process by which manager guides and influences the work of his subordinates. Leadership has been described as the process of social influence in which a person can enlist and aid the support of others in accomplishment of common task. Leadership is ultimately about creating a way for people to contribute to making something extraordinarily happening. Leadership is the ability to persuade others to seek defined objectives enthusiastically. Managerial leadership, it is a process of directing and influencing task-related activities of a group members. Leadership is a process of influencing people so that they will strive willingly, enthusiastically towards the achievement of group goals. Leadership is a continuous process. A leader continuously makes efforts to influence behavior of his group. He carries on the process by maintaining free flow of two-way communication in the entire group of his followers. Leadership presupposes existence of followers. The essence of leadership is followership. Leadership is a process of influencing or inspiring others to work towards objectives. Influencing, that means regulating and changing behavior, attitudes and feelings of others. Others include influencing with a reward, coercion, expertise, reference and tradition. Leadership can also influence with rational faith, participation and persuasion. Leadership is a kind of personal quality. Effectiveness depends on the application on performance. Leadership has a little to do with the leadership qualities, even less to do with charisma. It is a mundane, unromantic and boring. It is work and essence of performance. Leadership also involves interpersonal relationship between a leader and his group. A leader influences group of members and at the same time group members also influence the leader. Leadership is a personal quality of a person. It is a behavioral quality or ability to influence others towards his predetermined goals. Leadership is the quality of individual behavior where he guides people or his activities. What are the objectives of leadership? It is a shared function. A good leader, he shares everything with his followers. His ideas, opinions, experience, credit, uh, blame and so on with his followers. It is a persuasive function. 
and it is a pervasive function it is dynamic the effectiveness of leadership depends heavily on the situational variables it is applied according to the demands of the situation it is a power a person holding the power over others is a leader by virtue of power he is in a position to influence the behavior of his group a leader may derive power from his superior knowledge his experience information formal authority charisma distinct personality characteristics now what is the relationship between a leader and a manager leadership and management some people treat leadership and management or same but they both are different and where we find the differences or leadership it exists both formal and informal organization but management it exists in the formal organizations because it is influencing people uh, through the work and willingly doing for the accomplishment of goal leadership is based on power but management is based on authority leadership is only a function of management management it is more than function of leadership leadership structures are flexible and management are organized in a formal structure leaders achieve goals by influencing people managers achieve goals by directing people a leader he influenced by a kind of special behavior manager guides his subordinate through only policy plan rule and procedure leadership does not require education and training managers required to take proper education and training leaders are non accountable but managers are accountable to organization what are the basic functions of leader leadership is a dynamic and constructive force in any organization so he plays a crucial role in the success and survival of the organization it's a crucial factor that helps individual to identify their goals leadership in an organization would be only a confusion of people and machines just as an orchestra without a conductor it would be only musicians and instruments so orchestra and all other organization require leader to develop their precious assets to the fullest leadership boosts moral moral means attitude of employees towards the management and organization and will of other voluntarily cooperating with each other so it is an internal feeling of a person a good leader can arouse will to cooperate among the employees leadership creates confidence and enthusiasm it helps and support in their day to day work even it provides psychological support and infuses the spirit of enthusiasm among the people a good leader constantly tries to develop a team spirit among the group he inculcates a sense of community of interest leader contributes effective management effectiveness or efficiency it is largely depends upon a leader quality 
a strong leader he can transform a lack of luster organization into a successful one effective leadership can also create a work environment in which group of people can work with pleasure he creates and maintains interpersonal relations of trust and confidence among the group members a leader plays a crucial role in laying down goals and policies of his group in an institution he acts as a guide in setting the organizational goals and policies administrative leadership it is a vital to the survival of the organization leadership plays a vital role in the success of the organization the quality of leadership goes a long way in the success and survival of many of the enterprises in the world of change uncertainty business leader he becomes a vital element and very process of change itself a leader trigger a person's willingness to do and he show the way and he guide group of members towards the group achievements a leadership creates enthusiasm for higher performance among the followers a leader maintains quality of order and discipline in the organization he shows exemplary behavior and maintains self discipline in order to maintain discipline among the followers he represents his group members he is a connecting link between his group members and top management he carries problems and views of his group members to the concerned authorities and tries to convince them he is in a real sense an ambassador and guardian of his people interests and feelings leaders play a crucial role in resolving conflict arising in the group he does implement the harmony in diverse diversified interests of group members in the organization a leader he should have certain special traits he has certain expertise and give his opinion about the quality of the work among his group thank you